Welcome to Cheap Joe's Art Stuff. My name is Julie and I'm here to impart some knowledge to you today via a two minute art tip. And today's tip actually comes from a viewer question that we got where our viewer was asking, can you offer up some tips about understanding better how water soluble oil works? Yeah, I can. So here you go. To start off, what you need to know is that water soluble oil has a very, very different molecular size than traditional oil paint. So the linseed oil that is the base for traditional oil paint has, you know, a very, very large molecular size. It's kind of like um, a big glass orb that the pigment sits in. So for water soluble oil, what has been done is there's a chemical process where they actually change the molecular size of the linseed oil to make it much, much smaller, which is what makes it water soluble. And the way that I kind of explain it is you kind of have to think of the handling and the treatment of the traditional oil paint a lot like you think of the consistency of like motor oil, like that you would change your oil. You wouldn't wash that down your sink you know, that has to be disposed of and handled in a specific way um, and cleaned up in a specific way because of the molecular size, the stickiness of that oil. Whereas water soluble oil, I kind of think of more like olive oil. Yes, still oil, um, but yeah, you can wash it on your sink and you can clean it up with some simple dish soap. So those are the two um, differences between how, why water soluble oil is different than traditional oil. It has everything to do with the molecular size of the linseed oil um, after it's been modified. So toxicity issues. I know this is a question that, um, you know, a lot of people get confused about. Now, when water soluble oil was, um, you know, introduced to the public years ago, it was presented as a really, really viable option for those who had allergies and sensitivities, which it is because due to the fact that you don't have to clean up with harsh solvents like mineral spirits, turpentine, that kind of stuff, like you do with traditional oil. For people who do have allergies, this is a very, very viable option. But what some people just kind of miss is that um, the pigments that are used to create those colors are the same. So when you have toxic pigments like cadmiums and cobalts and manganese and zinc and you know, those kinds of things, um, those, those are still toxic, you know, whether it's in a traditional linseed oil or whether it's in a water soluble like linseed oil, the, 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 the crux of it, um, the pigment that's inside is still toxic. So those kinds of toxicity issues you need to address in terms of viable subs color substitutions like CAD free options and stuff like that. So toxicity, if that is a big issue for you, you want to shop colors carefully. Um, and you know, water soluble oil can be a, a really nice option for you if allergies are an issue. Then mixing, the rules are a little bit different. One of the things that people ask a lot is, can I mix my water soluble oils with my traditional oils? Yes, you can. You, you totally can. So if you have an existing library of traditional oils and you're trying out water soluble oils with just like a handful of colors to see how that they behave, yes, you can mix them with your traditional oils. But the rule is it always defaults to the fatter molecule. So the traditional oil always rules the day. That, that rules how you deal with cleanup, that, that rules how you deal with mediums, and all of those kinds of things. So yes, you can mix them and the ratios don't really matter, but you always default to the handling and the processes of the traditional oil because it just kind of rules the roost. And then mediums. People ask all the time about, well, do I have to get all new mediums when I get water soluble oils? Well, no, I mean, you don't have to, but I would advise that you do. Uh, and the reason is, is because the um, molecular structure of a water soluble oil, that linseed oil is different. Um, the viscosity, the behavior, you know, kind of how it mixes, um, is different. Um, and so some of the um, mediums and stuff can kind of be overpowering with the water soluble oil uh, paint. 
the water soluble oil mediums are exclusively designed to be compatible with the water soluble oils and just typically i find that they work better in a more harmonious way with um, the water soluble oil paint that they're designed for so hope that these tips are helpful um, and help you navigate the world of water soluble oils and answer some questions for you uh, thank you all for your kind comments and also your questions and feel free to write in and ask away. We're happy to help and uh, hope that this was helpful and hope that you enjoy.